Canada, Spain. Tap the 2017 Mercedes AMG C63 Coupe's aluminum paddle shifter at speed, and a quick brad womb. Fills the leather and Alcantara cabin. The Spinitosternum snort is an unapologetic blurt, a mandatory part of the experience, according to AMG boss Tobias Mowers, that speaks volumes to the brand's desire for differentiation. Vive la difference, Mercedes, we're digging your bass EV music cues. In this conflicted era of roaring horsepower and elevated efficiency, the latest C63 flies deliberately in the face of its six-cylinder BMW M4 and Cadillac ATS V foes, if only for its increasingly novel V8 configuration. The design language provides enlarged nose intakes, engorged power domes, and flared wheel arches that add just under three inches of bulk at either end. The effect, however, can be dubious at certain angles, when viewed from above. The C63 more closely resembles a Mustang or a Cord than a $72,000-ish Uber Coupe. For maximum effect, it's best to glare at this muscled-up specimen from dead ahead or straight behind. Visual direction aside, those pedestrian associations vanish quickly from the C63's snug bucket seats when chasing a low-slung AMG GTS Coupe at Circuito Ascari in southern Spain. Boasting a 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 that's essentially a non sump version of the mill found in the GTS, this four-seater produces 503 horsepower and 516 lb-ft of torque in S4 more 469 horsepower and 479 lb-ft in the standard setup. According to the company spec sheet, that's good for 0 to 60 miles per hour sprints in 3.8 seconds 3.9 clicks for the regular model and an electronically limited top speed of 180 miles per hour or 155 miles per hour the palm filling steering wheel with a center marker at 12 o'clock perfectly apartment for the new sled which uses stiffer settings a reinforced front cross member negative camber settings and thicker gauge aluminum on the steering knuckles for sharper feel. The S model receives an electronic limited slip differential that reduces inside wheel speed during cornering acceleration and stabilizes the rear end during hard braking. The electrically powered tail minder considers your eight, steering angle, and throttle to determine torque allocation. Also included with the S package are adjustable engine mounts that manage the power plant's 450 pounds or so of mass, which can rock and roll a vehicle's dynamics when unchecked. Three setting magnetic dampers are tied to drive modes and can also be adjusted separately, all of which is managed by a toggle switch on the center console that scrolls through a total of four modes. Dialed into its most aggressive track setting, the proceedings start on a properly dramatic note at Ascari with the V8 spurbling idle belying its forced induction. During the first session on the recently rain-drenched circuit, worn tires and slick surfaces seemed to contradict the new C63's Nürburgring time of 7 minutes, 43 seconds, which matches that of the stunning, previous Gen Black series. However, our second go on fresh rubber revealed a noticeably improved dynamic over its non-Black series predecessor, namely through sharper turn in planted mid-corner manners, and less comically tail up eggs and characteristics. The V8's massive torque, which crescendos between 1,750 revolutions per minute and 4,500 revolutions per minute, can still easily kick the tail out, but a discreetly dispensed pro tip from mowers helps avert throttle drunk maneuvers, flip the gearbox to manual mode, and the engine mapping transforms to a more linear, progressive setting. The change is like a secret handshake for AMG drivers and isn't disclosed in any Mercedes-Benz documentation, anywhere. You're welcome. By the third session on the track, the GTS pace car driven masterfully by DTM champ Bernd Schneider became even more reachable. Though the C63's 3,803 pound curb weight and 5,149 front o back weight bias can't match the GTS's more track-focused setup. It does manage a commendable job of rolling with the high speed punches. The improved speed shift MCT7 speed transmission always finds the proper gear on its own in the track setting, but manual mode lays power down more effectively though over eager, 
heavy-footed drivers may still find the lure of wheel spinning torque too tempting to resist. However, even in track mode, the traction control system is still too limiting for Schneider chasing antics, switch to ESP sport handling, and the coupe finally power slides beautifully through corners in effortless, manageable drift aided by the accurate, electrically actuated steering. Optional carbon ceramic brakes scrub off speed effectively, making it easier to mitigate the V8-induced antics and attain appropriate corner and race speeds. The newest AMG extends the sub-brand's ongoing theme of oversized power and driver-focused charms, expanding on the foundation built by the range-topping GTS. Though its competitors are potent. The new 2017 Mercedes-AMG C63 S Coupe's sonic blur signifies this coupe's ever-focused mission, calling traditionalists home with V8 charisma and auto-ben-ready composure. It may be an expansion of the workaday Mercedes-Benz volume seller, but the C63 exudes enough allure to keep the speed-daddled set amply satisfied. Road tripping the new C63 S Coupe across Andalusian highways revealed interstate shrinking speed and surprising comfort from the adaptive suspension. Though there's a glue e down connection to the road and more than a bit of thrum from the Michelin rubber, the kinematics aren't jarring or grating enough to annoy over the long haul. Similarly, the blaring exhaust note can be tamed in the more sedate drive mode settings allowing you to focus on the restrained interior surfaces and the real aluminum accents on the standard Burmester sound system. Show more.